In this video, let me show you how to delete an element from an array. That is, we are going to remove the required item from the array. So, for this, we are going to make use of the splice method offered by JavaScript. To illustrate this, I have already saved a web page. I have just changed the title to delete an item. Now, we are going to write the JavaScript code. So, let me add the script section with type text slash JavaScript. It is here. Let me close this. And within this, we are going to write the code. So, first we need to have an array, right? So, let me add an array where my ARR equals inside this, I am just specifying A, B, C, D up to G. B, C, D. You can have whatever items you want in the array. Here, I am just specifying alphabets, okay? F and G. Now, let me just show you how this array looks like. So that you can easily identify whether the item has been removed or not. So first let me just write console.log before deleting. Let me just specify plus and my ARR. So with this we will be having the array. Let me save this and show you. This is the page. Let me refresh and go to more tools and developer tools. So that you can see that here in the console you could see before deleting A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right? Now, we are going to get the index of the item which we need to remove. So, suppose I specify where my index equals. Suppose I want to remove D from this array. So, I am specifying my ARR dot index of. This is the one. And I just have to specify the element to be removed. So, that we will get the index in this my index variable. So, if this element is there in the array, it will return the position or the index that is for D it will be 3. Why? Always index starts from 0. So for A it will be 0, 1, 2 and 3. So I am going to make a check if my index is greater than minus 1. What does that mean? It is there in the array because minus 1 greater than minus 1 means it will be 0 or more. So, for this one, it will be 0 and it will be added by 1. So, 1, 2, 3 will be the index now. And if it is greater than minus 1, what I am going to do is that I am going to make use of the splice method. So, the splice method can be used to add elements to the array or even to remove elements to the array. So, I am specifying my ARR dot splice and first we need to pass the index of the item to be removed which is there in the my index variable and we have to specify how many elements should be removed starting from this one. So, as I want to remove only one, I can just specify one here. If you specify two, D and E will be removed. We will see that later. For the time being, we just want to remove one item and let me show you the output that is console.log after deleting. We just have to display my array because my array will be overwritten. Okay. So, let me add that is plus my ARR. Now, let us see what happens. Let me save this. Let me refresh. See, before deleting A, B, C, D, E, F, G and after deleting A, B, C, D is not there, E, F, G. Now, suppose instead of 1, that is index is the same, that is the index of D itself. And if I specify 2, what will happen? D and E will be removed. Let me go to the page. Let me refresh. See, A, B, C, D, E, F, G is before deleting. After deleting, it is A, B, C, F, G because D and E gone. So, here we need to specify the index of the item to be removed and also the number of items to be removed. Suppose I want to remove B from the list. Here we just have to change b save refresh a b c d e f g and then a c d e f g so splice method can be used actually to add elements to the array or even to remove elements from the array here we have deleted or removed items from the array if you want to add items to this array at any position you can use this same splice method we just have to specify the elements as well if you want to add it 
So this is how you can easily remove an element from an array using the splice method.